Hi Virgo, thanks for joining us over here. Let's do a quick recap. We had the staff in reverse and the sun. Um, the sun, as you know, is about joy and you're coming into a beautiful new cycle. Staff is about needing, universe is nudging you to um, look at colors, not just black and white. We have, you have to be careful with your health. There's some health issues going on here, but you have hope and family as well which is maybe hoping for a family, hoping for a family gathering, but take care of your health. You could be uh, a little under the weather right now. Also because you have gloominous doom and the pook, and the pook is nudging you as well to look at, not be so rigid in your thinking, in your belief system. Um, it has gotten you to a point of gloom and it's doom and I think because in our first part of our reading when I was clarifying the soulmates and the twin or, you know the, the divine guided lovers what we found was that the ace of wands came up and the nine of pentacles which means you have the opportunity of a passionate new beginning here but some of you chose to be get it in your head that you'll be happier if you're single without realizing that if if you're having if you're having a rocky road with someone how much is it their fault and how much is it your fault is it because you've been closed off which virgos often do you're not the only other you're not the only sign that does that um, we all need to have our space and our closed off periods but you have it in your mind that, you know, you're going to give up a passionate new beginning with a soulmate because um, you think it would be better to be single and, you know, keep your options open. And you are missing a beautiful opportunity. So let's start clarifying these. This was the deck. Conflict, inner conflict. You're fighting yourself. You're fighting with yourself over what you want. You could, this could be outer conflict too, outside influences that, if it is outside influences, you're standing your ground. Wish fulfillment with a soulmate, an offer of love coming in. This could be a Pisces, not necessarily. But your wish fulfillment is this soulmate to come in with an offer of love. You don't want them to walk away. You do not want to walk away from them. But you've got your boundaries up. You want a brand new beginning. In fact, Spirit's trying to give it to you. But you've got your boundaries up. This person could have walked away from you or you from them. But it, it does look like they want to come back. Or you want to go back. Queen of Swords, you need to cut out behaviors and people that do not serve you, that have been a real pain. Uh, you could have had a missed opportunity because if perhaps you were just too uh, sword happy and cut out too many things and you missed an opportunity that was coming in. You could be dealing with an Aries. You need to make a decision. Um, you need to, someone sees you as very desirable, but you're able to go after and get what you want, whatever this decision is that you're going to make. Yeah, you are holding back and literally sabotaging yourself from love. Holding back. Or you could be holding on to some past energies that... You need to release in order to move forward. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune. The universe is going to help you move forward. Thank you, Lord. Um, ooh. This person could be a Pisces. Or a water sign. Excuse me, Virgo. I'm going to have to let Miss Bird out. Off you go. Oh, 
Burr. Yes, I have my pajama bottoms on. Okay. It's just more comfortable in the house. All right, this person, it, it could be uh, a water sign who left you or you left them. Not necessarily a water sign, but this person is not showing any emotions towards you at all. There are some things going on that you don't know about. Perhaps you're a little suspicious about. But they're not they're not uh, showing their cards. You want communication with them. And you need a lot of strength just to get the nerve up to communicate. But once you do, those those messages will fly back and forth. And they'll be passionate. This person will nurture the connection. Very lovingly and carefully. You want victory and love with this empress. Or you are the empress wanting a passionate new start. And you want victory and love. But you're sabotaging yourself. You're afraid when this message goes out or comes in. You want a wish fulfillment. You want them to not give up. Son of a gun. I think you'll be surprised by whatever that communication is. Wow, you're not even... If this happens, if you guys communicate, if it's the past love and you guys do communicate, you are going to let finally let your guard down. However, you are letting others influence you. Family, friends, you are letting them dictate how you're supposed to be with this person and that person will not have that. They have their own boundaries and they look like healthy boundaries. Someone was brought into your life in the past to teach you something, how to break certain behaviors and habits. It could be this person. So we see, for signs, we see Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Gemini. So far, that's what's that's what we see. <coughs> oh, it's snowy out there. We finally got snow that stayed. It's been rain up until uh, yesterday. Yesterday we had the snowstorm and got a couple of inches. So we may just have a white Christmas after all. We'll clarify with one more deck before we move to the oracles. Yeah, so Chloe made a show for both you and Pisces. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. You're thinking about your legacy, your Ten of Pentacles. You're focused more on work, working towards perhaps family, long-term commitments, amalgamation of families, legacy building. So when it comes to your wish fulfillment and soulmate and offer of love, you're, being, you're sabotaging things. This is self-sabotage. And on a grand level, you think their motives are not honest, but you don't want to end it. You don't want them to walk away, but your barriers are up. It makes it so difficult for them to penetrate that hard shell of yours for this new beginning that spirit wants to give you saying get get back on your path your destined path virgo and you know you, these money things that you're focused on flow ten of pentacles you feel betrayed or maybe you betrayed them so they cut you out or you cut them out and 
spirit is trying to help heal the situation, bringing love back in here. But you're focusing on the past. Too focused on the past. Perhaps you are going to get yourself unstuck. You're going to finally make a decision to move forward. Close this cycle. Stop hanging on to old behaviors. Or, you know what? You just might be closing a cycle with a soulmate. Look at this. Wow. Soulmate. Divinely guided lover. That taught you something. Closing a cycle. Or perhaps you're hanging on to the old cycle, the old behaviors, the old ways that need to be released. Yeah, the universe is going to cut it out anyway. This person may have cut you out of their life. It, it just forced, forced that. that, that no more of this, uh, this type of a relationship. This person who's not showing any emotions, not revealing their cards... Are your wish fulfillment you do not want them to go away you want to move to calmer waters together but you're not doing anything about it you're just feeling it's sitting there feeling left out in the cold and sad ah finally with the help of this empress or you if you're taking on the empress shoes birthing something new passionate new beginning victory and love and you're moving to calmer waters. And this usually is a couple. Two people moving to calmer waters. Something more abundant. Leaving the barrenness of the past behind. Yeah, broken heart here. This person was your wish fulfillment, but they broke your heart. But this message coming is, in is to let you know, yes, I'm still here. I, I'll work on this with you. You know, I'm, I still have feelings for you. You know, of course we'll work on this. Perhaps this person cheated on you. Or was... Well, they betrayed you in some way. Could have been a three-party situation. Or they chose someone else over you and they regret it. And they want to work on it with you. You're not considering your options. You're not confused or up in your head either. Oh, Virgo, it looks like you've already made up your mind who, who you want. You just don't know how to go about to get it. So you're just staying focused on your money. You want reunion, but you've got all these barriers up and say, well, if it, if it was an argument, let's just wait till things calm down and I'll find the right time. And Virgos are the most patient of all the signs in when it comes to waiting. But if you wait too long, this person might be gone forever. But right now, all you're focused on is your money. I think this video should probably be titled, uh, including to include the words self or two words, self-sabotage, because that's what I'm getting from this, that you are self-sabotaging. And I get it. Sometimes we need to withdraw to do some healing. Uh, but I think you've been withdrawn a little too long. Gotten a little too comfortable with it. But in that comfort, it has also drained your energy. Putting in you into uh, a depressive state. What message for Virgo regarding this reading? What whisper of love for Virgo regarding this reading? Show us, angels, what message. Demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love. And act on it. Don't be passive-aggressive. Act. Any more messages for Virgo? Any more messages for Virgo? You know what I'm hearing, Virgo? New love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work. 
or for spiritual growth. So this is saying to work on yourself. I suppose this is what you're doing with the King of Pentacles, fo focusing on your work, focusing on your pentacles. But this is saying to focus an opportunity for love in your work or for spiritual growth. Interesting. I've never seen that card before, before today. But let's close this reading with guidance from the romance angels our tried and true cast and crew who always wrap up the readings quite beautifully with a final outcome and message for virgo regarding this reading please can we have a final outcome verdict and advice for virgo regarding this reading What is the final outcome and advice for Virgo regarding this reading for December 21st to January 4th, 2020? Honeymoon. Enjoy blissful holiday time together. Maybe go see this person. Take them out. Heart to heart conversations. You need to open up. And you need to learn to forgive. Forgiving and learning heart to heart. Take them out for dinner or a holiday or a weekend. Face the heart of the matter. This is if you're uh, pining for an old person that you broke up with. As for the new one, go for it, Virgo. Learn to forgive yourself. Learn to get to know this person. I hope that helped. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. God bless you. Um, I wish you all the best in the new year. And to see you again on our journey together. Bye for now.